Hello everybody, this is Drake and we're here to conclude round one for the Eggs of the Eggs tournament. And we have six eggs waiting to crack in on the action. So up first, we are going to see the Wind Egg going up against the Asia Egg. A con another continental clash here between the Europe Egg and the North America 2 Egg. And then we will, we will conclude round one with Secret Egg numero 2 going up against the Water Egg. Let's get on with our first matchup of this session, which is the Wind Egg going up against the Asia Egg. Ooh, in the red corner, for the, for the Wind Egg, we've got Gojurasaurus. Could be in a bit of trouble here, the Wind Egg, because I know what the Asia Egg has got, and I'll, I'll put it lightly. The first dino for the Asia Egg is a doozy. Let's see who he's backed up by. Oh, Majungasaurus, not too bad. Although, I will say that one of the Asia, one of the Asian dinosaurs is a grass dinosaur, so there will be a tight advantage here for the wind deck. Ooh, Majungasaurus is a pretty decent one to draw there. Yep, yeah, there it is, in the blue corner for the Asia egg. They drew the doozy, it's Cychania. Probably the best dinosaur that the Asia egg could have drawn. Although, Yangtronosaurus probably would have been the best because of the type advantage, but you know. Cychania probably up there as well. However, backing up the Cychania is Fukuisaurus. And this is not such a great draw, especially going up against the Wind Egg. Ooh, this is going to be tight. I feel like this is going to be tight. Well, at least I hope it is because we've had a lot of one-sided matches. The sound lag is dead. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. It's annoying, I know, but tough. <laughs> Let's go, Gerasaurus getting the first hit there. Not much damage dealt. Ooh, Cychania striking back. Boosh! And wow, wow. That was loads of damage! Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure this Sight Chainier is counter type. That's why I did an arse ton of damage. But the Dino Illusion has been triggered there. Oh, and there goes Dino Illusion. Sight Chainier getting the next hit. But it won't do any damage. Still no support effect. I haven't seen too many support effects. Well, unless, unless it's from the Kark. <laughs> In the last session, we saw... We're going to go off Volcano Burst every time this Plesiosaurus go off the head. And yep, I think this is the end of Gojurasaurus. Side chain you're getting off the head. It's a stun dash. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Slippy, slippy, slap, slap. Will this kill it? Um, yes, definitely will kill it. Asia egg dominating so far. But let's not count the wind egg out yet. This Majungasaurus can turn it around. Oh, he does get a hit. Finally, the Wind Egg gets a hit back. Boosh. Elemental power there could come in handy. Given that Majungasaurus has two wind moves as well. Ooh, getting off, getting off the next hit as well. Maxing up that elemental power. Can the Wind Egg come back from this? I think who was it in the first fit, first video? Yeah, it was the lightning egg that came from came back with Pendaceratops. Oh, the like Cycania attempted the swap, but the Majungasaurus is having none of it and takes it out. And will land damage on the Fukuisaurus. How the tables have turned. Because now it's the wind egg in the ascendancy. And with the type advantage. Sonic Blast could be a factor as well if there's ties. Oh, that's, oh, wait, this might actually be lethal. Because this Majungasaurus is buffed up by the uh, elemental power. This might be lethal. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Wow. Quick as the wind, the wind egg comes from behind to take out the Asia egg. And Majungasaurus, wow, that elemental power stack with Biting Wind, loads of damage, ripped that Fukuisaurus to shreds and made and scrambled the Asia Egg. 
out of the tournament. Right, that is the wind egg going through. Let's find out who will join him as we move on to our next match of this session, which is a continental clash between the Europe egg and the North America 2 egg. Well, this one's interesting. Some interesting draws here. Right, up first, in the red corner, for the Europe egg, we have Eustreptospondylus. Eustreptospondylus will have Nindra attack. Not a bad draw there. And I think the second one for the Europe egg is either Baryonyx or Amplosaurus. Well, it's a water dinosaur, put it that way. Oh, it's Amplosaurus. The Europe egg drawing a doozy. I'll, I'll stop saying doozy. Although, then again, Ocean Panic might not be too great on this dude. But Amplosaurus, nonetheless, could still hit, can still hit hard. Actually, look at that. You struck, you struck the Spondylus has more attack and double the technique, so you struck the Spondylus might actually be the better dino here. However, in the blue corner for North America 2, it's the Steg. North America 2 drawing some good dinos as well. We could be in for a cracker here. It's a guy. And backing up the Steg, it's Albertosaurus. This Albertosaurus has the flare sword. It might be good for support effects as well. Interesting, because if it comes down to Amplosaurus against Albertosaurus, though, the Amplosaurus will have a type advantage. This will be interesting. Yes, yes, get your dialogue over and done with. And get on with the match. Ooh, you strap the Spondylus strike in first. It's the dive impress, which is actually compatible with him. Boosh! Oh, you struck the Spondylus, it's getting another hit. A fast start from the Europe egg, landing the blows on the Steg, which I think is below half now, so you can attempt to swap out. Oh, not yet. Well, it'll definitely be below half now. And he does get the swap out. So our Bertosaurus will come in, which, as I said earlier, will have the type advantage over you, Strip the Spondylus. <laughs> I like that. He's like, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, Spectre, you crack me up. But a very tactical swap out there by, all, by um, the North America egg. So this ninja attack won't do as much damage as it would have done on the Stegosaurus. Although, it'll still do some damage. Not too much damage, though. Our Bertosaurus tanking it quite well, and all the more while, that Stegosaurus is healing up. Oh, Albertus, well, finally, Albertosaurus gets a hit on the board, and it's a Skydive. The Quets are coming in here. The star MVP of Dominion, the creature that's probably going to kill the Giga. I don't ask me how he's going to do it, but he's probably going to. It's going to, like, stab it in the brain with its... Oh, look at that! Archaeopteryx charm coming in there. Healing up the Eustrep the Spondylus. It was like nothing happened. Oh, that's a tie. Wow, this is a really in intriguing contest so far. But the Eustraptus Bondalus gets off yet another ninja attack. And the Albertosaurus' HP will be below half, so it will attempt to swap out. Well, the Stegosaurus has... Ooh! What have we got here? We've got a shockwave effect! Ampelosaurus pulling its weight. Okay, so... Eustraptus Bondalus will be going rock. You can't go paper, I'm sorry. You can't go paper. And you'll go rock as well. Oh, the swap fails this time. The Albertosaurus dies and they just and the North America egg just cannot live with this, you strep the spondylus. 
Well, the only saving grace is that while Albertosaurus was in, the Stegosaurus did heal up a bit. Oh, 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 his tag team must have carried over. He's strapped a spondylus on a roll at the minute. Just cannot be stopped. But Papasaurus saving, saving Stegosaurus there. But Stegosaurus really needs to get a hit on the board, ASAPs. And it can't get, we can't get one. What is this madness? Come on, at least get a crit. Watch this be scissors now. Oh, finally, Stegosaurus getting a hit on the board. Attack boots coming in there. And I believe that's maxed up as well. No Archaeopteryx charm this time. Well, this would be a very unlikely comeback. Ooh, you strep the spondylus. Finally going down. The Stegosaurus finally taking it out. And because it attempted a swap out, it will also get a hit on the Ampelosaurus. Yep, there goes Stegosaurus. <laughs> that was quick, wasn't it? At least the North America egg got the satisfaction of taking out Eustrep the Spondylus. Ampelosaurus there, yeeting the Stegosaurus away. Cracking the South North America egg out of the tournament. He stomped on it. Well, a good win for the Europe egg there. Booking his place in the next round. As for the North America 2 egg, just, just is that you stripped the spondylus so was causing all the problems. The Europe egg had the, grip, had the grip on that match. Right then. Now... On to the concluding match of this round, which is the secret egg number two going up against the water egg. Right, our final match this round. And in the red corner for the secret egg. Number two, we've got Megalosaurus. See, well, like the other secret egg, the secret egg number two will, is, one of, is one of the favourites to win this tournament for me. And wow, look at that. Got the crit there, got the two secret moves. Who is he being backed up by? Oh, it's Papasaurus. Probably the weakest secret dinosaur in this egg. The Papasaurus. But still, a pretty decent dinosaur to get. <laughs> it's a guy. Well, the only thing... I, the only hope I could give the water egg in this match is if it draws Spinosaurus. Okay, Camarasaurus up first. <laughs> oh, that's not, that's not a good sign. Um, it's got the shockwave. Then again, the Aqua Whip could do a lot of damage. It's got the shockwave as well, with a tech boost. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. And off it. Oh my god. Oh, piss the Sea of Cordia as well. Oh, this could be tough for the water egg. But again, it's got the attack power. It's got the technique, you know, if it gets off some shockwave effects. You never know. The water egg might pull this off. It's gonna be tough. It's basically got like the two weakest dinosaurs in this egg. <laughs> oh, bless it. It's gonna be tough, but maybe they could pull this off with shockwaves. Okay, we get the first hit. Camerasaurus getting the first hit there. Getting off the technique boost. Here comes the shockwave. This is exactly what the water egg would want, getting off them shock waves, nullifying the secret dinosaurs, forcing Megalosaurus to take ties. Which it is a tie. Ooh, I tell you what, they might be the underdog in this match, but the water egg's off to a good start. Taking Megalosaurus's HP below half. Getting off another shockwave. They might pull this off. I tell you what, they get Spinosaurus and that. Like, these two might be might be the reason they win this match. If they win. Right, so Kama will be going Skizzers. Megalosaurus will also be going Skizzers. Can Megalosaurus... Well, one 
hit with a secret move will probably do a serious amount of damage. But the Megalosaurus just cannot get it off. Oh, it's dead. Oh, no, it's not. It's got tag team. <laughs> but its swap out did fail, so the Megalosaurus will not be allowed to swap out. Papasaurus coming in near with the tag team. And the, speaking of Papasauruses, our secret Papasaurus will get hit as well. It's a shame Papasaurus got thrown under the bus compared to the other secret dinosaurs. But, you know, it is what it is. Wow, the secret egg hasn't even got a hit yet. <laughs> it can't get a hit on the board. Megalosaurus going down and now it's all up to Papasaurus. Who finally gets a hit for the secret eggs. Although Megalosaurus definitely hits harder. Ooh, that's a crit from the camera. Well, his HP is not below half, so I didn't attempt to swap out. But that's an aqua whip, and that is going to do a ass ton of damage. Can the water egg do this? Oh, it's a support effect. A pistol cord, you're coming in here. Look at this from Camerasaurus, taking on two secret dinosaurs like a boss. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, it's done it! The Camerasaurus has just demolished the secret egg. The secret egg number two, one of the tournament favourites, has just been scrambled by the water egg. And not just by the water egg, but by Camerasaurus. Well, didn't see that coming. The secret egg just could not get going at all. And the water egg stuns us all with a shock win to book his place in the second round. And what a way to conclude round one. That blows things open, doesn't it? I didn't ex I didn't see that coming. I thought the secret egg number two would be too dominant. But nope, the water egg will win us all. But the secret egg number two is all washed up. Right, let's have a look at our matchups for round two and we'll end the session. Well, that is our lineup for round two, ladies and gentlemen. So in this table up here, we have the lightning egg, the red egg and the blue egg going at e each other. Down here, we'll have the alpha egg, the secret egg and the North America one egg going at each other. And last but not least down here, we have the wind egg, the Europe egg and the water egg. All these eggs survived getting scrambled in the first round and it is a matter of last one standing in each group. How this second round will work is that they will all play each other once. Think of it like the finale of the lightning tournament. It's basically that. And the winner from each group will go through and that will make up our final three. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. You know the drill by now. And until round two, this is Trainer Gamer signing out.